Here I will illustrate you how to calculate the volume of a sphere with general radius r larger than zero. We had a unit sphere, but that's the unit sphere we have r equals one. So what is the the sphere with radius r around the origin? Well, this is the sphere with uh, with equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals r squared. So now we take the y value equals to zero, then we indicate this point for y equals zero on the sphere, then we get as an x variable, we get x and the height is given by z. So we know that in x zero z, we know that x squared plus z squared equals r squared. Yeah, so we can calculate for a given x, we can calculate z because z is given by the square root of r squared minus x squared. And so that's very useful since now for a fixed x, we can find the intersection of the plane for the fixed value x and the solid since now we have as a surface area function ax equals well the area enclosed by the blue circle right so and the area by the blue circle is no more than pi times its radius squared but its radius squared is now the value z so we get ax equals pi z squared which equals pi times the square root of r squared minus x squared and that one squared again. So we get pi times r squared minus x squared. But then the volume is given, then we can specify the volume, since for all x's in between minus r and r, we know ax, so we can find the volume of this, uh, this sphere with radius r larger than zero by calculating the definite integral over minus r r over a x dx. Well, this is an easy function in x, so we get the integral of minus r r of pi times r squared minus x squared dx. Well, of course, this is just an easy quadratic function of which we can calculate the primitive. So, as a primitive, we find r squared x minus 1 over 3x to the power 3 times pi. And the integration boundaries are given by minus r and r. So as a result, we get pi times r to the power 3 minus 1 third r to the power 3 by substitution of r minus pi times the same expression where we substitute minus r. So we get minus r to the power 3 minus minus 1 over 3 r to the power 3. And we add those numbers up, we get 4 over 3 pi to the pi r to the power 3.